I'm John Hankey. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Niantic. Pokemon Go is the second game that we built. The team created Pokemon Go out of a passion for trying to use technology as a tool to get people outside and moving around and exploring the world and doing stuff together. Our perception was that maybe people were kind of saturated with you know, various kinds of social networks, but they were really hungry for tools that would allow them to kind of get back to real face-to-face -face social interactions and to help facilitate that. It's kind of, it's like something that we got out of the habit of doing and technology kind of led us in a certain direction and it created this opportunity to use technology to kind of restore some of those things that people have always done is kind of missing in our lives. One of the things that we discovered, particularly after we launched our first game, Ingress, was that people really responded to the opportunity to have an excuse basically to get together with their friends and do something together and to have an opportunity to maybe meet new people. And it's not something that we expected when we started, but it's something we observed initially as community groups popped up around the world for the game. People were going out, walking around, and basically using the game as an excuse to socialize, first with people that they knew, but then getting together with new people through the game. So that concept of real world social became really important to us. We had learned a lot from Ingress, which is the game that preceded Pokemon Go, but it's a brand new genre, it's a brand new type of game, so it's very, very experimental. One of the things that we're trying to balance is with the gameplay, how much movement and how much activity do you need balanced against, you know, kind of more stationary gameplay once you arrive at a location. We knew that multiplayer and having people play cooperatively was going to be really important. We knew that from our earlier game that people really enjoyed the opportunity to play together with groups of friends. But in terms of, you know, what should the size of those groups be and what should that dynamic feel like, one of the things that emerged from Pokemon Go that was kind of a happy accident was this focusing in on groups of, say, a half dozen to 15 people. It seems to be like a really comfortable number of people to sort of get together socially you know kind of by almost by coincidence we had designed the game and in particular there's a multiplayer function called raids in the game where you have to get together with other people in order to be successful and we had kind of guessed that that might be a good range in terms of you know people's ability to get together with that number of friends and organize their play but it, you know, it turns out that that's, it seems to be almost a magical number, you know, around a dozen people. We've experimented with really bringing the story to the user across a lot of different formats. And through, again, a lot of iteration and a lot of failure, we found some things that work. When a user is mobile and moving and engaged with the app, audio actually you know, works better than video in a lot of circumstances. So we will incorporate audio in the game and mobile. And then if there's a video, maybe give the user an opportunity to know about it and bookmark it with the idea that they're going to come back and probably watch that video at another time when, you know, when they're comfortable, they have some downtime and they want to consume video. You know, trying to integrate story with experiences that happen out in the real world, I think there's a huge opportunity there. Your experience when you're outside and moving is very stimulating. There's a fair amount of research that's been written about how physical movement stimulates the brain. You're really on when you're out and walking and exploring. With the right context, with the right musical cues, with the right bits of narrative, you can really create some like strongly evocative mental states when you combine what the user's experiencing in real life at particular locations with these very you know, specific augmentations.